welcome back to Farming Simulator and today I am going to take you through Braven's Wardrobe Plus mod and how to create your own custom clothing like this. So um, this is available on ModHub for PC only and there are some really good instructions included in the mod. There's a really nice PDF. If you're happy using that PDF, go read it, work through it. If you're not, I'm going to take you through the steps of how to uh, add a custom logo or whatever to the clothing that is available. You will need for this paint.net. I'll try and remember to put a link below and probably 7-zip would be good. Um, and Notepad++ or Notepad or something like that, depending on how far you're going to go into it. Um, and you'll want whatever you want to put on there as a PNG file with a transparent background. So go get all those sorted and uh, I'll see you back on the desktop to have a look at how to do this. Okay, so we're gonna to want to go to your mods folder. That will be in my games Farming Simulator 22 mods and you will have wanted to have downloaded one wardrobe plus. And there is an example mod as well that Braven released, but you don't actually need that to create your own because the there is a, a blank example included in the original mod. So first thing, if you open up the mod, you'll see there is this instructions for wardrobe plus .pdf, and this is what I have open in the background. The instructions are really good and I am basically going to work through these with you for those of you that prefer kind of a, a visual guide on how to do things. So everything you need is in the instructions. Um, I'll pick up on a couple of little useful tips as we go through of things that I found having a play with this. Um, but pretty much everything you want is in the instructions. So I'm just going to move that off to the side so that I have that available to refer to. I have gone through it a couple of times, so I may not need to use the instructions. I may be OK to work through it. The next thing you're going to want is you'll see there's this folder called sample mod. If you click in there, so we are in 7-zip at the moment. Should have said that probably. Um, you, If you don't have it installed, you will need to go and install 7-zip. Um, if I haven't included a link below, use Google. Um, and you'll see here we have FS22 wardrobe plus basic.zip. And what we're going to do is right click on this. We are going to copy to, and we're going to copy it to our mods folder. Now for me, it knew where that was. So I'm just going to click OK. If not, you'll just need to navigate to it. Um, so if we go back now, close that, you'll see in the mods folder, we now have wardrobe plus basic.zip and we're going to right click on that with 7-zip and we are going to extract it. Um, and then you can delete that one. Um, if, if you screw up or whatever, you can always go back and it is still in there or you can re-download it. So there's that. Um, so if we go into here now, you can pretty much ignore all of this. Um, if you want to create multiple separate mods, then that's a bit more advanced. You'll want to uh, to rename this um, and you want to do some stuff in the mod desk and things. Or if you want to include multiples of, um, let me just close all of those. If you want to include multiples of similar things, then you'll need to do that as well. Um, I'm just gonna show you the basics here. If you want to get more advanced, then I, you, know, you can kind of work that out yourself, is my view. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into textures and we are going to pick one thing to customize because the rest are pretty much all the same. We're going to do the male T-shirt. So what we want to do is we are going to select the T-shirt male diffuse the t-shirt male icon and the t-shirt male mask. We want all three of those. And I'm going to do right click and open and that will open these with paint.net. There we go. Um, so you will need to install paint.net. You want something like paint.net because it can do the right file formats and things. And thank you, GeForce Experience. So the next thing we want to do is open up our picture that we want to put on here. I am going to use the Farming Simulator 22 logo because it works quite nicely. Um, 
you'll obviously do whatever picture you want to put on your clothing. So I'm just going to go and open that and I will be back. OK, so I've now got open the logo with a transparent background. The transparent background is important um, and the three files from the mod. And what we're going to do, the first thing you want to do is your logo that you or your picture that you want to import lost my cursor there we go um you need to make sure that it's small enough that it fits on the uh on these so these are a thousand just over a thousand pixels wide so the first thing that i do is go into this one click on image and resize and i make this about 500 pixels and click OK. And that will shrink it down so that you can at least get it on the picture. And then we're going to do copy. And then we will start off in the diffuse. And we're going to do edit and paste into new layer. It needs to be paste into new layer. OK. There we go. And then you want to drag it and size it however you want. So this is the front. This is the back. Um, so I'm going to do it on the front and I'm going to make it quite big. OK, so drag it around as you want. So you, to drag it around, you just where you've got the four arrows, it's just left click to move, to resize, put the hand on one of the dots on the corner, hold down left click and drag to resize. So the next step we're going to do is we are going to copy this so edit copy and we're going to paste it in to the mask so we'll do edit paste into new layer remember it needs to be new layer when you do this okay the next thing we want to do is we're going to go over to here and we're going to use the magic wand or you can press the s key because we need to select the logo um what you can do is you can play around with the tolerance here and that will change how much is selected. I want it like that. So it has selected all of the text there. OK, so you just um, go up to this little box, left click and you can slide and it will it's adjust how much it is selected. And then the same will hold down control and we'll do that over here as well. So that's selected the farming simulator and the 22. We then want to do edit and invert selection. We then need to go to the layers tab, which is here. If you can't see that, go up to the top right hand corner here where it says layers and just click that or press F7. We're going to click on the background and we're going to deselect layer two. We then need to get the color picker, which is this little dropper here. We we'll click on that and we select the blue color over here. We then go back over here and we select the fill bucket. We come here and we click. And if it doesn't work, we go back to edit. We do invert selection again and we click and we click and that paints those blue. Um, then what we need to do is to save the files and I will um, cut and put up on the screen the settings that you need to have. I'll also show them here. It's probably easier just to show you. We do file and save as. Now, if you're doing multiples, you're going to need to rename this. I'm not. So I'm just going to leave the name as it is because I just want to show you how to do the basics first. If people want something more advanced to do a full like pack of all sorts of different things, then let me know down below and we'll do that. But just to get this one done, I wanted to keep it more simple. So we're going to select direct draw surface or DDS. We're going to do save. We're going to do yes, replace. And then in these settings, we need to have BC1 linear DXT1 up here. We want perceptual selected. We want generate mid maps selected. And we want adaptive best quality. All the settings that I have on screen there, they're also shown in the PDF. Click OK and yes, we want to flatten it. So we'll then go over to the diffuse and we'll do the same thing. So we'll do save as. 
we'll do dynamic direct draw draw surface or dot dds we'll do save we'll do yes the settings are the same and we'll do okay and we will flatten and then we want to do the icon so the icon is much smaller so we're going to go back to the logo we're going to do image and we're going to do resize and this time we're going to reduce it to 100 pixels we'll then do edit and copy again we'll go to the icon we'll do edit paste as new layer and then just stick that wherever you want you can stick it roughly there so it looks sort of like your t-shirt and we then save this with the same settings as the previous one so we do save as we select dot dds we do save and we do yes we do okay and we do flatten and that is your new item i'm not going to save that that's your new item sorted and um, so you can see in here with the logo picture we've got that on there we've got the little farming simulator there and we've got the blued out bit there a couple of little pointers so if you want to do the sweatshirt you'll see that we don't have the blue color in here so in that case what you'd want to do is have open one of the ones that does and select it from here and then paint it in the other one um i have found that some like some things don't select very well so for example my logo doesn't select very well um the way that i found was good to do that is to um let me show you actually let me show you if i open up the polo shirt so this is my logo for my youtube channel um and we'll do the same thing so we're going to resize it down to 500 pixels we'll then do edit copy edit paste as new layer uh, get that so it's sort of round and sort of in the middle we'll then do copy so control c to copy we'll go over to this one we'll do edit paste as new layer and then if i zoom in and get the magic wand again you'll see if i try and select this it struggles to select everything see i can't get it i can't get a tolerance where it will select everything so the way i did this and it does take a little bit of trial and error if you go to layers and add new layer so we get a third layer over the top and then go to shapes and ellipse we want to go on here and we want to draw a filled ellipse filled shape with outline and we're going to draw get rid of that magic select thing there we go we're going to draw a circle if it will let me i don't think it's going to let me keep editing it no let's uh, delete that layer we'll do it again in image okay. layers new layer shapes ellipse fill the ellipse we're going to Click that one and do black. All right, let me do that. That black. Thank you. So, and then if we draw the circle over the logo, we'll 
I think I found a way to make it ever so slightly smaller. But I'm sure a bunch of you will be wanting to do something like this. So let's, there we go. That's that. And then if we use the magic wand and select the circle, then go to background, deselect both of those. Do an edit invert selection. Get the color dropper again. Pick the color up. Get the bucket. Uninvert the selection. There we go. And then if we do file, save as again, save as direct draw surface. Yes, yes. The settings are all the same as before. It will save the settings for you. We're going to flatten. We'll go to this one. We'll do file, save as, direct draw surface, save, yes. Okay, flatten. And then we'll go back here. We'll do image, resize, and we want to go down to 100 pixels. And we'll do edit, copy, go to here, edit, and paste as new layer, stick that on there, file, save, direct draw surface, save, yes, settings are the same, okay, flatten. Right, so that's how you would do it if you're struggling to auto select stuff. Um, you might not need to do that. We're then going to go back up to this layer to Wardrobe Plus. Um, press Control A to select everything. Right click on it. 7 zip. Add to FS22 Wardrobe Basic dot zip. And to select that and do Control X to cut it, we'll do Control V to paste it in the mod directory and delete that. And I will see you back in the game. So when you load up the game, you should see Wardrobe Plus, Wardrobe Plus even, Basic. So we're going to select that and do Start. And then we'll let it load. So we're in the game now to open the wardrobe up quickly. It's Alt P. I don't know if you guys know that. And then you can see here we have our Farming Simulator 22 t-shirt looking very smart. You can select different colors if you want to you. Um, and then we have our Disturbed Polo shirt. And I didn't quite get the logo in the middle, but you can see that that's worked as well. So if we confirm that, you can see there we are in game. And then the uh, the T-shirt also in the game. Let's turn around so we're looking for the lights a bit better. There we go. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, as I say, if you are creating a more complex pack with multiple T-shirts or whatever, you're going to rename need to rename some of the files and things. There are instructions on that in the PDF. Um, I really just wanted to take you through the steps of what to do in uh, creating the textures. And that's it. If you like this mod, make sure you go in to Mod Hub and rate it five stars. Um, Braven has done an awesome job, I think, here. Um, I remember watching FarmCon last year and Giants saying that this was not possible. It was too complicated when people ask about being able to create custom clothing and stuff so yeah he's done an awesome job of getting this to work and be relatively easy to use for people to create their own custom stuff i'm sure over time people will be releasing bits for this you know for custom custom things but you can pretty much do what you want really you can put any image on the clothing that's available um yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. Comments, questions or suggestions, you can stick them below. But you could also go to Braven's GitHub. There's a link for that on the Mod Hub page. Um, or if you ask them here, I might bug Braven to come over and answer some of the comments.
And that's it. See you next time.